Okay, in this video, we are going to uh, create and save uh, mats for stamped images or your other images. This is the scanning mat, and you can see it's a black and white mat, and at the bottom here, it indicates that it's only for scanning. It has a thin plastic layer. They're actually pretty expensive. Um, you know, I, I was excited about doing this and, and really didn't think about the fact that there's ways of doing this without um, paying for one of these. Um, I do like it, but I what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you um, an easy uh, workaround for you. So this is that black um, piece that we cut out with the offsets. So I would slide this in underneath here and kind of try and get it to be straight up and down in position and then I would just scan it in and save it. Um, but let me show you what you can do with a regular mat. So we've created our own scanning mat by putting a white piece of paper on to um, your mat and then using just a little bit of temporary adhesive on the back of your image. Just attach it to there, load it in your machine and then go into scan but this time we're going to go to scan to cut data because we're going to save that we want it to be in grayscale And as you can see, as it came back, it, it actually knocked that image off. But I think it, it comes in on the scan in. So let's see if it recognizes it or not. That's why the cover sheet's kind of nice. But again, you could make your own cover sheet. Now, it did find it. So that's all we're worried about. So I'm going to zoom in now because we're going to work only from the screen. So let's get you in here. I don't really care about the image out there anymore. Okay, so we're only wanting the outline. So we're going to click on the outline button. And you could just save it like this, but the, um, and we're going to save it to our USB. But if you were saving to your machine, your machine does have a limit. And the larger the space is here, the more that this image is going to take up. So if you bring these in to just outside of your image that you're going to be saving, the file size is going to be smaller and you'll be able to save more to your machine. But I'm actually gonna save this to my USB. So I've got that outline, I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna save to the USB. And note our number is number 62. Okay, so we'll take that out. And we can, we're saving that for another time. And in the next lesson, I will show you what we can do with that.